What's up, guys? Oh, by the way, if you hear any noise in the background, forgive me. I am playing Sparking Zero right now, and I'm uh, not gonna lie, I'm having a fun time. But uh, today's video, we're here to review a figure. Speaking of Dragon Ball, <laughs> today we're here to review a figure that came out last month that's getting a reissue by Tomashi Nation. Literally, he's getting a reissue. Like, he just came out last month, Tomashi. Okay, whatever. Today we're here to review the SA figure, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Over, uh. Wait, 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 what's this? Sorry, I'm butchering it. <laughs> under Raving. Sorry, Under Raving. Uh, I just said Over Raving, my bad. Under Ravering. Under Ravering Saiyan Pride. And you wanna know which version of Vegeta this is from? Oh. <laughs> okay. This is from the Tournament of Power. Also, you can say that this Vegeta is also the same Vegeta from the Goku Black arc. You know, for a figure, he's pretty good. I remember all the people that were complaining about about this figure. Yet, but yet they still bought this toy. So I don't know what to tell them. I don't know what to tell you. You whine about this, but yet you still bought it. You want to explain that logic to me? Because, no offense guy, that makes no sense. So, okay, here we have the figure. And, uh, well, let's talk about the good and bad things. The good and bad about this toy, shall we? First off, he's just like every other 2.0 Vegeta, because all he's using the exact same body mold. Far he goes from here to here to here to here. Right, this is how far his legs go up to. Well, yeah. Be careful because you don't want to break this guy. And trust me, you don't want to. I spent good money on this guy. For those who I know, for those who I know, where did I buy my copy? I bought this from Amazon Japan. From Amazon Japan. I pre ordered him when he, when he, well, he got announced. And that's cool. I like the color scope for this Vegeta. Cause well, it's about time we get an anime version of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, not the bully one. That one's a good figure, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, that figure's good. Also, one point on, one point on the hell, yeah, that figure got reissued last year. And yet, and yet they announced this. Okay, Tamashi. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right, Ray. Sorry, I'm not like talking a lot. I'm just uh looking very deeply at this figure because oh my goodness, Tamashi Cook with this guy. I'll say this: if you don't have like the regular assembly with you, this tech's pretty good for alternative. Alright, we put him there, then we're gonna go on to his accessory. He doesn't cover a lot for accessories. To be honest, but uh, hey, it is something. Not gonna lie, I would love to see. Not gonna lie, I would love to see Tamashi make a uh, 
make a uh, anime version of Super Saiyan Blue Goku because we had the Broly, we had the Broly version from the Broly movie. But I want to see like an anime version of Super Saiyan Blue Goku. About if they, if they, oh, if they can make one for Vegeta, why not Goku? Just saying. So anyway, here are the here are the head sculpts, the faces. So we have a uh, smirk face right there. Well, more like a grin, a grin face. Vegeta's talking mad trash with this with this face expression. Here we have a serious face here of him getting angry. Here we have a yelling face. <laughs> face. <laughs> Here we have the iconic Vegeta cross cross arms. Because to be fair, every other figure comes with these arms. No joke, every Vegeta figure, 2.0 Vegeta figure comes with these arms. No, not Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or Mod Vegeta, but my point still stands. Just like every other standard Vegeta figure, his hands are the exact same. Bruh, I can't hold this thing. His hands are the exact same. And, and well, just two key blast hands. Uh, had no idea. Yeah, I think these. I think these are freaking gap. I had no idea what these are. What type of hands these are? Well, every verse, every Vegeta figure, two point Vegeta figure has these type of hands. Yes, yeah, the Queen Mods of Vegeta. Ay ay ay. Dude, what? Why am I dropping stuff today? His open slash bro. His open slash final flush hands. <laughs> and we have his uh, thumb up hand. And so you already know every time my boy used this hand, this pose in the show, to get his butt kicked. <sighs> it's hard being a Vegeta fan out here on these streets. Alright, so size comparison time. And yes, we have a lot to compare him with. It's not a lot, lot, but it, but it's, but it's decent. So let's compare him to the other god forms. Here we have our well, Super Saiyan God. Oh wait, hold on. Have Super Saiyan God. Here we have the here we have the reissue blue Vegeta. Using the exact same body mold, I just gotta say, Kamashi. Whenever we, we can get a brand new body mold for Vegeta, like I don't get me wrong, I love the 2.0 body mold, but I think time for Vegeta to get an upgrade, just like how it, just like how yeah, Goku got one for 4.0. 
no, no, yes. Yes, Goku did got 4.0 body mode upgrade. And that's on the Namek Saga Super Saiyan Goku that just came out last year. And uh, his reissue that just came out this year. I paid the reissue for the original. I don't have the reissue, to be fair. I have, a, I have my first copy, still good. Alright. Alright, so for next, well, <laughs> we have a lot of Dragon Ball characters to compare him with. And one non Dragon Ball character. Here we have a uh, well, Mr. Block. Block. Mr. Block. Block Legendary himself, the bully. Here we have Omen Goku. And here we have the Toritaro manga version of Master Ultra Instinct Goku. I do have the original version of Master Ultra Instinct Goku in pre order. But this guy's, uh. This, guy, this guy's still good. Alright, they still put, they stand pretty well with each other. <laughs> I will say, I'm probably gonna do Final Fantasy display, so I'll put this Vegeta with him. The Congo, the Karel, until they make a evolution Vegeta, this Vegeta is gonna be, this Vegeta is gonna be Terminal Power Blue Vegeta. And I'm gonna put him well with, well with this guy. Because I have the regular version of Master of the Goku on pre-order that should be arriving next month by Big Bad Toy Store. So it's also that too. Here we have Superhero Piccolo. Here we have, well, if I can stand. Here we have the event exclusive, well, Lord Beerus. And here we have Superhero Gohan. All right. And for the last figure here, this one make perfect sense. Here we have a well. His uh, here we have the, <laughs> I, uh, the Jack the Jack Pacific, Shadow the Hedgehog figure. Holy crap! He is he really at the exact same size of a figure. Wait, hold on. Let me get my hold on. Let me get something. Here we have Kamai Majade right here, where we reviewed last time. And Majid fell down, hold on. Yeah, that's wonderful. Nice. Nice work, Vegeta. I need you to stand up, buddy. Damn. He stands so well with that, what the heck? Uh, I'm mind baffled how Shadow Man is standing up pretty well with them. By the way, I'm gonna review this figure because this Shadow figure is like an import. It's at, it's at freaking import level. Damn, Jack Pacific! I remember you guys used to make like really non-stop crazy Dragon Ball Z toys back in the day when you guys had the license in the '90s. But he are now making good Sonic figures. Crazy. But yeah, he stands pretty well with both of them. I'm gonna put this guy over here. And with Jay right there. No, put it right there. And uh Yeah guys, that's the video. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media in the description. And uh also if you wanna buy any like good Japanese toys, like anime and token merch, 
use my link Japan food link in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, to next time, the next video we're gonna review is uh, the SA Figure Yusuke Yurameshi, or SA Figure Kamei Volderad, or a, another figure that I'm waiting to get, or another figure that I'm just waiting to get shipped very really soon. Yeah, guys, that's all I'm gonna say. My name's Aaron, and well, I'm out, have fun, play Sparking Zero. And uh, have a nice day, guys. Make a name. Bye bye.